Hello and welcome to physicscatalyst.com. Let us now look at the concept of electric charge. Now electric charge is a fundamental property associated with elementary particles. Electrons, protons and neutrons a few examples of fundamental particles now according to william gilbert electric charge is something possessed by material objects that make it possible for them to exert electrical forces and to respond to electrical forces often times the students are unable to visualize electric charge we know electric charge to be a fundamental property associated with elementary particles now this fundamental property is like characteristics or properties of other substances or objects for example you have a fountain pen a pencil now if you lift it in your hand you are able to feel its weight now we know that weight w is equals to m times g where this m is the mass of the pen and this g is acceleration due to gravity of earth now start thinking about mass what is mass it is nothing but a characteristic that the pen in question has can you see this mass no it is the material of the pen what you are able to see which might be plastic or metallic again does the mass of the pen change when you move it to the moon or another planet the answer is no the mass of pen does not change it is the weight of the pen that changes because acceleration due to gravity g is different for both moon and earth so mass is nothing but the fundamental property associated with different objects any object in the universe can have any number of characteristics or properties now coming back to a question of charge let us now try to understand with the example of an electron for ease of understanding let us assume electron is static or is at rest now the electron is a particle and has certain characteristics now two properties of electrons are it has mass and it has negative charge like electron we have another fundamental particle that is called proton now protons also have properties like mass and a proton has positive charge so the negative charge on the electron and a positive charge on a proton is a property of both electron and proton so we call a charge positive or negative only by convention to distinguish between two type of charges we should never mistake positive and negative charges with additive or subtractive signs now another question arises where does a charge come from now electric charge on a body comes as a result of transferring of electrons from one body to another this way one body has an excess and another has a deficiency of electrons so to give a body an excess negative charge we may have to add some electrons and to give an excess of positive charge 
we may have to remove some electrons it is important to note here that the charge of a body refers to the excess of charge only the excess of charge is always very small fraction of total positive or negative charge in the body as a whole so electric charge is a property of the material of a given body like mass in mechanics and the electric charge is represented by symbol q or small q now we know that in an atom electrons revolve around the nucleus and this nucleus has a positive charge now electric charge is the property responsible for electric forces acting between this nucleus and electrons in an atom so this electric force between the nucleus and electrons bind them together now electric charges are of two kinds first one is negative charge and second one is positive charge in an atoms electrons are the particles having negative charge and the nucleus which consists of protons and neutrons has positive charge now out of these two particles that are present in nucleus only protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral now the electric force between two electrons is same as the electric force between two protons which are kept at same distance from each other and this electric force which acts between two electrons and two protons is repulsive in nature so we can say that like charges repel each other now the electric force between an electron and a proton placed at same distance apart is not repulsive but it is attractive in nature so unlike charges attract each other now the assignment of negative charge on electron and positive charge on proton is only a convention it does not mean that the charge on an electron is less than that on the proton now importance of electric force is that it encompass almost every field associated with our life it is important because all matter around us consists of atoms or molecules in which electric charges are exactly balanced now si unit of electric charge is coulomb which is written as c capital c now coulomb is the charge flowing through the wire in 1 second if the electric current in it is 1 amperes now charge on an electron is e is equals to minus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and 
charge on proton is positive of this value this is it for now thanks for watching